Hello friends, that PYQs have become very important as far as our neat PG preparation is concerned. So let's have a look at a very interesting uh, physiology PYQ. Uh, this question says, glucose is transported across the intestinal lumen via which of the following? Options are primary active transport, secondary active co-transport, facilitated diffusion, or penocytosis. So uh, let's see how glucose is absorbed by the enterocyte. Now the movement of glucose from the lumen into the enterocyte is with the help of SGLT1, sodium glucose linked transport 1, which is an example of secondary active co-transport. Glucose leaves the basal side of the cell with the help of GLUT5, which is an example of facilitated diffusion. So both Secondary active co-transport as well as facilitated diffusion are involved in the absorption of glucose. So which one do I choose? And both in fact are given in the options, secondary active co-transport as well as facilitated diffusion. But my better answer here will be secondary active co-transport because secondary active co-transport is responsible for the movement of glucose from the lumen into the enterocyte. Further transport of glucose from the enterocyte into the plasma is with the help of facilitated diffusion. So my better answer, secondary active co-transport. For more such interesting physiology PYQs, Dams brings you PYQs Ka Pap starting on 13th February. See you all there.